Well, here is another example of how to find the sum of a series. And this series is a geometric series. And we're going to call the sum as n because we have exactly n terms. Like the previous example, we are going to first find the recurrence relation. And we can easily see that Sn is equal to Sn minus 1 plus beta n minus 1. Now, this is the same recurrence relation as the next one. For this one, you can see n goes from 2 and 3 like this. Okay. Or you can write down s n plus 1 is equal to s n and plus beta n. These two recurrence relations are the same thing. It's just we are shifting the index. And how can we now solve the recurrence relation to find Sn? We use the same reasoning, try to guess a form. So we need to guess a form. Make a guess of Sn. Now we see this is different from the last one because we have exponential function over here. But in fact, we can use the same calculus reasoning to find the sum. In calculus, we know that 1 plus beta plus beta squared, and keep going, beta n minus 1. This is approximately the integral of beta to the power x and dx. And x goes from 0 to n minus 1, like this or to the n, it doesn't really matter. And when you integrate, we have something like this. We will have um, 1 over log beta, I think that's what it is, and then beta to the x, and n minus 1, and 0. So we end up with a form like um, some constant over here, and beta to the n, and plus another constant. We're going to call this constant A and call this constant B. So the form of the sum, Sn, is equal to A to the beta N and plus B. You may say, is this going to be always the way we guess? Um, pretty much it is. And we will actually make a summary after we solve all these problems about the general rule how to solve simple recurrence relations of this type. If we make a wrong guess, our process will not be able to complete. And that can happen. So now, second one, we need to find a, b. They must be constants, that means independent of a. Independent of a, okay. but dependent on beta. And how do we do that? We again, we say s1 is going to be equal to 1, and then we will have a beta plus b. Okay. s2 is 1 plus beta, and that's going to be a beta squared and plus b. So we have two equations. Now we have over here beta as a parameter, so we need to solve a, b. Solve a, b. We have two equations again, and one, two. By looking at these two equations, if we use the second one minus the first one still, then we have um, b and b cancel, so we have a beta squared minus a beta is equal to beta. 
and we may assume beta isn't zero otherwise that's going to be easy so we divide beta both sides and then we have a beta minus a is equal to one or a is equal to factor this out one over beta minus one and then we plug in the first equation so one is equal to a now is one over beta minus one and times beta and plus b so we calculate this one over here b is one minus beta over beta minus one and complete the um, computation so we can see a simpler form of the formula so this is going to be beta minus one beta minus one minus beta and that's going to be negative one beta minus b so we put them back and we see sn is equal to a is 1 over beta minus 1 and beta n and then b is negative 1 over beta minus 1 and if we put them together that's beta n minus 1 over beta minus 1 if you remember that's exactly the formula for the sum of a geometric series but remember this is only our proposal we need to verify so the last step over here is to verify and we are dividing this um, problem into three parts over here of the solution so how do we do that we can skip the first one because we already know um, when n is equal to 1 s1 is equal to beta 1 minus over here is 1 that's true for sure it's true now this is this step over here sometimes people will feel that's very um, maybe a little bit confusing so this is called the assumptions we want to show this formula is true but now we assume that it is true for the k minus 1 step that means as k minus 1 is equal to beta k minus 1 minus 1 over um, beta minus 1 just using the formula replace n by k and then we need to verify the next step when n is equal to k that means as k we need to find the formula and then we use the recursive why I always use plus it's minus k minus 1 and plus beta remember this is actually k minus 1 if you remember that part okay so from here then we plug in the formula that's going to be beta k minus 1 minus 1 over beta minus 1 this is from our assumption over here right this is the one so called this is the inductive assumption inductive assumption that we already have the starting point this is the initial step the first one and then we have beta k minus 1 we need to again simplify this to see if the final step is correct beta k minus 1 minus 1 and plus beta k minus 1 multiplied by beta minus 1 using the common denominator and then just do the algebra carefully and then we have this multiplied it out and minus beta k minus 1 and then we see exactly what we have we wanted to have Now we can go back to n. So our conclusion is that S n is going to be beta n minus one over beta minus one. Some of us may prefer put one in the front. This is um, useful when beta is um, less than one. Its absolute value is less than one, but it's okay. 